Hi, Nick with Inflow Communications here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to set up a system administrator in Director, as well as setting up various administrative permissions. All right, now once you've logged into Director, um, you'll want to go to the user that you'd like to set up as an administrator, so click on Users, and then Individual Users, and you want to check what they've set up as their client username. Um, you'll want to also make sure that they know what their client password is if they've changed it, so it might be good just to reset it for them. Um, and that can be done down below in the client password box. And you've got their client username. So now on the left hand side, click on system parameters and then administrative permissions and administrators. Now if you haven't added a system administrator yet, you're still using the default admin and change me account, once you've created this new user, that admin change me account will go away. So it's very important that you know what the username and password is of the account that you're adding as the first administrator. So to add that administrator, you'll click on new up at the top, and then you'll want to search for that person that you'd like to add as the administrator. and then you have different roles. And Shortel by default has a few different ones that they put in there. There's reporting only, system administrator, which gives you complete access, and technical support, which uh, gives you more limited access to some of the administrative functions. And we'll be covering those in just a minute. So in this case, I'm gonna choose system administrator. And once I click save, that account is now set up as a system administrator. Now, to change some of those roles, or just to see what they do, on the left-hand side under Administrative Permissions, instead of Administrators, click on Roles. And first we'll take a look at the System Administrator role, the system default. And we'll see in here that you have all sorts of options. Uh, we can tell these to only have access to specific sites if you're in a multi-site environment. Uh, you can also tell them which user groups you'd like them to have administrative permissions over. Uh, if you scroll down some more, there's also uh, distribution lists, basic work group management, uh, site equipment itself, the switches, the trunks, the phones. Um, so you can choose different options there. Uh, you probably want to leave the system administrator account alone, but you could copy it and create a new system administrator. For a specific site. And that way I can have an administrator in the Portland office who only has access to people in that office. And we're going to go back to the roles section here and take a look at some of the other built-ins. There's the technical support group, which you'll see by default only has access to system directory management, uh, has report generation, and access to users and work groups, and then the site equipment as well. But they're not allowed to change account code management, administrative permissions management, so they can't give themselves more permissions, or the other backend management of the system. One of the common ones that we set up is the reporting only group. Uh, you'll see here that it has no access to anything except for report generation. It's very useful for um, supervisors uh, if they'd like to log in and run reports on their work groups. And you can see in here as well, they only have access to the report generation. And that takes care of setting up new administrators and some of the administrative roles that are available. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.